All right, Paulie, you're first. All right, yeah, time for number nine. How much do you love your kid? Hmm. Enough to take them to the Plaza Hotel in New York for the special Home Alone 2 package? Nope. Your kid gets a limo ride around New York City, uh, shopping at all the iconic uh, sites, a large cheese pizza, and a special Home Alone 16 scoop sundae, just like Kevin ordered in the movie. Prices vary depending on the room and the view and the time of the year that you choose to be there. All right. All right, number eight, a viewer who is moving to North Carolina made us aware of this, and he says there's a type of grape called the scuppernong. Oh. It's a real delight. These grapes are big, they are juicy, and they are so noteworthy to people in the southeast, they are even mentioned a few times in To Kill a Mockingbird. Really? We're also told they make for a nice jelly and a nice wine. Oh, this is helpful information. Uh. Where, I, where did I say where you find them? In the south. Just, that's a big area. Yeah, yeah. So you just go <laughs> south of Kankakee and keep driving right. until you Look see one. Look out your window, they're right. on the right. <laughs> uh, number seven, let's face it, Crocs are never, ever going away. They're uh, as sure as spring training and tax season. The latest is a collab with Balenciaga, including chunky heels and wide, thick versions of rain boots for just about anyone who wants to pay $700 for them. Ah. Well, now we're just showing all kinds of cracks. So the yeah. ones with the heels aren't the ones that are 700, are they? It's the boots. The boots, okay. yeah. Well, those are worth it. But that was a trend a while back, making the cracks yeah. into high heels. Oh, and yeah. Then, they were everywhere. There we yeah. Couldn't get away from them. Woof. I'll get that. Wow. Honey. Something. All right, number six, uh, actress Melissa Gilbert was here yesterday. Here's a little fact about uh, the theme from Little House on the Prairie. song that you're listening to here was originally used on another TV show, Bonanza. Michael Landon had been on that show before he came to the Little House where he was also a producer and a director. There she's going to fall right now. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, there we go. She, Remember that? Well, that? Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. Well, when he came, he brought along with him composer David Rose, and Rose thought a song he'd used in the 1971 on Bonanza was perfect for the opening credits of Little House three years later. And he must have been right. He won two Emmys yeah. for his work on the second show. Good yeah. for yeah. him. Really set the tone to be in the 19th century. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, number five, it's the most wonderful part of the holiday the season. The Goop Gift Guide. Now, we've been yeah, we you just know, talked about that. talking about a couple of things in this guide, but yeah. take note, here's some more, some faves. The Hermé, is it the Hermé? Sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Brown Birkin. 35 bag because oh, Gwyneth yeah. has her pulse on the world and she knows what we want and what we can afford. This bag is super practical. Only $18,500. Wow. Yeah. But, you know, if you want to shove it in the face of your friends and say, this is how much money I make and how happy I am to have... It'd be nice to have a... I don't know what I would do with a purse that expensive. I'd be terrified carrying it around. You know? Yeah. That's what you, you need to get that when your friend has a bag that costs fifteen thousand dollars. You say, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember this one. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen. Number four, are you guys ready to have your minds blown by yeah. something really useful? This is the Fletcher Whoa. Capstan Whoa. table. <gasps> Look at that. It's a big circular table. But just by twisting it, you can make it even bigger. Whammo! Wow, you just magic. doubled the seating capacity. I'm getting okay. dizzy. You see, it stores all the leaves internally, and you can do this ah. by hand or electronically. Uh, the guess. bad news, here it comes, $50,000. Yeah. $50,000? For that, I'll get a card table at Target and put them in the backyard, yeah, you right? You could hire people for a few years to stay around the Look at how you. great that is. FletcherTable.com. All right. Card table at Target, $7.99. <coughs> right, Robin? I don't know when the last time was you were at Target, but you're not getting a card table for $7.99, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I like to switch the uh, the price, price stickers. Yeah. Right, they <laughs> Classy. Confusing. Are we Classy. on the air? I don't no. think so. Uh, number three, 
Here's something your kids might see and have no idea what the heck it is. It's wood paneling, <laughs> a staple of every 1970s Southside basement, not to mention houses across the country. How often you'd find paneling walls, some shag carpeting, and a big record player, maybe a giant TV set, maybe some beanbag chairs. And if your kids don't know wood paneling, tell them that it was a shiplap way before jo Joanna Gaines made shiplap popular. Now, I saw a, you know, speaking of Joanna Gaines, yeah. you know, the, some of those uh, rehab shows, right? Yeah. You know, if you have the wood paneling, taking it off is very costly, sure. right? Yeah, yeah, and so yeah. in the damage that's done to the wall, so you, paint, paint, you paint the paneling, sure. like, and it actually, it makes it look like shiplap. All right. I don't even Just know a what little tip for is, you. It's like, yeah. isn't it like white wood? Uh, I don't know. Is that what it is? Or it's more, it's, it's, there's more to it than that. Anyway. Any, we, it's, had, uh, we had wallpaper that looked like wall paneling. <laughs> <laughs> now that's, Seriously. that's a level a above. There, yeah. Wow. Easy to take down, easy to yeah. put up, and it doesn't cost our, as we much. We have that in our station wagon. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right, number two, Chicago's landscape is kind of flat, but we have a tip for a hidden gem that makes for a great hike this fall and winter. Palmasano Park in Bridgeport. It's the former Stearns Quarry, and for two years it functioned for years as a dump. It's now a nature park that filters and stores a large amount of rainfall. It's great for fall colors. Look at that. And sledding when it snows. Mm. And after you have a day there, you can go grab a coffee or a beer at places right on 31st and Morgan, right off of I-55. Well, who knew? Who knew? Look at that. Look at that. All right, it is 909. Number one, as we mentioned, Melissa Gilbert was on the show yesterday. Back in 2010, Melissa Sue Anderson was here. She played the sister, Mary Ingalls, on Little House. Amazingly, Mary Ingalls' nemesis from that show, none other than Ellie Nolson. No, Nellie Olson. Oh, what did I, what did I say? You said Ellie Nolson. Oh, I'm sorry, Nellie <laughs> Olson, whose family owned the store in Walnut Grove, followed her all the way into our studios just to harass her. Oh, Check I it out. I forgot about this. Playing a blind character couldn't have been easy as a child. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. And and uh, even as an adult, it's yeah, yeah, it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, and it was no know, one I, in I, Walnut I'm Grove still, likes guess, you, Mary Ingalls. <laughs> Go away. History making because to have a character uh, uh, get some terrible affliction and I blind forever. <laughs> it couldn't have been easy as a child. No, it wasn't. Did it we wasn't. really do and, that? Uh, we heckled her during an interview? I don't know. I don't think we would have. No. <laughs> what have been a easy portrayal a of Nellie no, Olsen. Yeah. Come it wasn't. on. And, uh, even as an adult, I have no recollection of that either. I have no <laughs> recollection of this. Uh, wow. How is it possible? <laughs> I thought it was a Harpo <laughs> Marx. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When get some terrible affliction. The Marx Brothers meet the Ingalls. <laughs> forever. <laughs> That oh, was so that story. is interesting experience. The nine at nine. <laughs> yeah, and also, you know, wearing those. Long oh. The nine at nine. Yeah. It's the nine at nine.